grew up as a religious Jew. Okay, I learned in the yeshiva up until I got to high school when I left yeshiva and went to regular school. Yeshiva is an actual religious school that teaches you deeply about the Jewish faith and the scriptures and the laws of the Jewish life. So I come from knowledge of that perspective. At the age of 18, like everybody in this country, I served in the army. Everybody, men and women, at the age of 18, go to the army in Israel. For a period of three years for boys and two years for women. Okay? Everybody. With one exception, if you're an Arab, you don't have to. You can volunteer. Why? Because we're fighting against nations, Arab nations surrounding us. We don't want to put those Arab citizens, civilians, in a position that they will have to think twice if they should be killing our enemy or killing their cousins. I don't want to put them in this position, so I give them the opportunity to choose if they want to serve in the Israeli army or not. Some of them do. Most of them don't. Um, I was an officer. I was in special forces. I served for five years, not three years. Um, was released as a captain. Today I'm a major in reserve. Uh, and you, after you serve those three years, you still serve in reserve until you're 50. You've been called once or twice a year for service of about 20 to 50 days a year until you're 50. You're leaving your family, you're leaving your job, you're going to the army every year. Um, after the army, I went to school, studied uh, archaeology, history, Central American studies, philosophy of religions. I mastered my philosophy of religions, comparison religion. 